Ladies and gentlemen, Friday Night Lights is about to get underway at the VP Racing Fuels, making PowerPoint. Cody McPherson and Andrew Buff will lead him to green. Farney has it in the air, and we are underway. Down the front stretch, they come to turn number one. Our fast timer on the day, Cody McPherson, showing what he's got here in the early going. We got cars one around on the back straightaway. That is going to bring yellow lights out on the speedway. That's Derek McGrew Jr. Cody McPherson sees the green first. He hits the gas and drives away down the front stretch into one and two. Andrew Buff rolls the bottom up off a of corner. Number two goes the field. Ryan Shanahan, Jimmy Zacharias, Richard Murtaugh. Boy, Zacharias go and he turns Ryan Shanahan on the back straightaway, but everybody gets through cleanly. And Cedric Govro, oh, and Govro pounds the boilerplate in turn number three, tries to keep it rolling as we complete lap number one. He is pulling away. I gotta believe there's damage on that car. He hit it hard. Right, right front. front does look askew on it as he comes down, and oh yeah, now we got a good view of it. Yeah, right front is definitely uh, broken on the 22 of GoPro. Looks like something in the rear end too, Dan, that uh, definitely has uh, hurt the 22C, but uh, Cody McPherson and Andrew Buff, they're not hurt. They're running one and two right now. Couldn't quite pull off the pass though as he holds on to the two spot. Cody McPherson still with the lead as it looks like Andrew Buff has taken over the lead here. Come down off of turn number four. Well, Cody bows out of the battle in an effort to win the war, so can't blame him there. We're back to green flag racing as they make their way down here to turn number one. Up on the front, Andrew Buff going to lead the way. He'll lead him down off of turn number two with Richard Murtaugh. They're in the runner-up position when they hit turn three. Coming up here off the corner number four, hitting the front stretch. They make their way down here towards turn one. Once again, Andrew Buff in control as we watch the battle here between Jimmy Zacharias in the 171, Ryan Shanahan, the 32 ride. That's fourth and fifth. Andrew Buff continues to show the way here, quite an advantage over the rest of the field. Andrew Buff looking to become the first. Out. Oh, and Zacharias gets the shot from Randy Chrysler. He believe he was going up the racetrack already, Dan, and Chrysler gets by. Big margin now, separating himself over Murtaugh as they make their way down. You're looking at him take into turn number three. He'll be coming down to the white flag this time by. White flag is out for your leader, the 79 of Andrew Buff. Final time for Andrew Buff as he'll work it down to the bottom and turns one and two. The Folden Speedway and Glenridge track champion bringing it down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Checkered in the air this time by Dan. It looks like Andrew Buff's going to be the first one to repeat as a heat winner. Andrew Buff will pick up the win. Richard Murtaugh going to come across the line in the runner-up spot Nicholas Root will finish third with the 30 car the VP Racing Fields making PowerPoint is where they will fire from Zach Sabaka Tyler Thompson and Carl Comfort will be chasing them green lights are on and Matt Janzik to the lead in turn number one the mad scramble for supremacy as Janzik shuts the door on Cameron Tuttle Zach Sabaka right there and on the top side off a of corner number two Carl Comfort and Tyler Thompson doing battle. And then number 98T is Thompson. He'll grab third. Tuttle drifts up, opens the door for Sabaka. He'll take over position number two. The defending race winner goes to second. Tuttle back there to third. Thompson to fourth. Carl Comfort getting all sorts of pressure from A.J. Lloyd. And that Scott Schrader throwback. And here comes Gavin Isley and Chris Crane Jr. moving up to the high side early on. What? As they work through one and two, Janzik's car looks really good. That Billy Whitaker Cars and Trucks 33X commanding lead right now. A straightaway over Zach Sabaka. Cameron Tuttle has settled nicely to third. And A.J. Lloyd off the pace on the back straightaway. The 58 ride going towards Pitt Road. And he slides it to a stop. He can't quite make it to the pits as I believe the caution flag will be coming out as... Janzik continues to lead. You see Lloyd over there on the back stretch, and now the yellow does come out. We're ready to go green off a of turn number four, the 33 of Janzik, the 38 of Zach Sabaka. Green back out as they charge down into turn number one and a two. Janzik with the advantage, shuts the door on Sabaka. Sabaka's going to take a look back to the inside. Tuttle 
watches from position number three. As they work behind him down the back straightaway, Tuttle is third. Carl Comfort holding on to fourth. Tyler Thompson trying to use that outside lane up into turn number three and four. Down across the line this time by Gavin Isley, way up against the boilerplate. Chris Crean Jr. right there in front of him. Five cars all knotted up, all trying to get into a transfer spot right now. As his advantage is 2.5 seconds over the 38 of Zach Sabatka through corner number three and four, Dave Farney will wave that white flag one more time around. And we got trouble, turn number one. The Rayom number 27 around as we are under yellow. Yellow lights are on, this one's not over with yet. As Janzik fires first, brings him down to the green as we are back underway. Charging into turn number one. Comfort trying to get around Sabaka. Here comes Gavin Isley to the inside of Tuttle as they work off a of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, Isley gets a little loose, opens the door for Justin Sharp to try to get by. That's for the final transfer spot unofficially, and Isley right back to the bottom. White flag in the air, Matt Janzik driving away. Isley shut the door on Chris Crane. Chris Crane's gonna come back as Isley has trouble. He may have a tire down as they head into turn number one and a two. That left front giving them trouble as they work their way off the turn. Down the back straightaway, Matt Janzik, they're not gonna catch him into turn number three. Nobody's touching him. To turn number three and four, Matt Janzik. He'll bring it across the line, and Dirt Car Sportsman Heat number two goes to Matt Janzik. Zach Sabaka will cross in second. Carl Comfort third. Cameron Tuttle at the line. Justin Sharp will get the fifth and final transfer spot unofficially here. Rolling up through turn three and four, looking for the green as they make their way down off of turn number four, looking for the green flag in the air. Green is displayed and we are underway. Qualifier number three for the sportsman cars going green. Noah Walker will lead the charge off of turn number two. Mike Fowler right there trying to hold off James Friesen for position number two. They'll go three wide down the back straightaway. And we've got one in trouble, one going around, two going around now as they come to a sliding stop over there on the back straightaway as the caution lights are on. Walker ready to fire. Fowler looking to come with him. As they come down off of turn number four, Fowler got a good run off the top side of the raceway. He's gonna nose ahead down here to turn number one, but Walker coming back there, wheel to wheel off turn two. Fowler gets a good start that time into turn number three and four. He'll inch ahead by a half car length. Walker trying to come back underneath him through turns number three and four. They'll race off the turn together. Noah Walker with the advantage as they come down to the line to complete lap number two. Fowler will fall in line as the M1 of Tyler Murray now up to third. Friesen back to fourth while the 514 machine, that being chauffeured by James Hansen, holds on to position number five. As your leaders come across the line, this time we are going to have 13 in, two laps remaining for Noah Walker, and here comes Buff going after Stevenson. Buff trying to make a move. Stevenson had saw some daylight down to the inside of Hansen. Hansen was having a tough time keeping it down on the extreme bottom. And now they start to separate a bit, but boy, did the 42 of Justin Buff, he had uh, big eyes there on Tyler Stevenson for a moment as he saw a gap down low as now the white flag is out for the field. One more time around for Noah Walker in the number 22 machine. He'll take it down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. The driver out of Wheatfield, New York, looking to set it up. Off the turn, the Pelicanos Marketplace, JW Services premier towing ride, and he will win qualifying race number three for the Chevy Performance 75. Mike Fowler will cross in second. Third will be the number one machine of Tyler Murray, the 72 of James Friesen, fourth, and the 514 of Hansen holds on to position number five. Looking for a heat win here tonight at the VP Racing Fuels, making PowerPoint. Chad Edwards and Ryan Dolbear bring him to green, and Chad Edwards to the lead in turn one. Edwards gonna lead the way down here into turn number one and quickly separate himself from the field down the back straightaway. One driver making a move, Tyler Corcoran on the charge as Corcoran working up here through the corner, now gonna make his way up into position number three as they make their way down here off turn four. And Jessica Power making a big move up to position number three as she works into turns one and two. Behind her, Ryan Dolbear going at it with the 33 and Travis Bruno as behind 
behind them. The 24, Brandon Gibbons getting into the act down the back straightaway. Looking for a heat win here tonight at the VP Racing Fuels. Making PowerPoint, Chad Edwards and Ryan Dolbear bring him to green and Chad Edwards to the lead in turn one. Edwards gonna lead the way down here into turn number one and quickly separate himself from the field down the back straightaway. One driver making a move, Tyler Corcoran on the charge as Corcoran working up here through the corner, now gonna make his way up into position number three as they make their way down here off turn four. And Jessica Power making a big move up to position number three as she works into turns one and two. Behind her, Ryan Dolbear going at it with the 33 and Travis Bruno as behind them, the 24, Brendan Gibbons getting into the act down the back straightaway. Things start to settle out as they make their way down the back straightaway up through turn three and four, rolling down off the corner. Chad Edwards in the 10% machine. You're watching on your screen right now, some side-by-side -side racing as Brandon Gibbons with the 24 car. Looks like he bounced it off the inside retaining wall and left front tire is down on the Gibbons B24. He'll have his hands full here for 13 more laps. Still stands at about four car lengths. But power getting a little bit closer to Corcoran as they were. Whoa, hard contact with the inside wall down here. Going to bring an immediate yellow up onto the racetrack. Aaron Backus in the 48 is over there in turn number one. The left front is sheared off of that car. Boy, Dan, that is some heavy, heavy damage. Well, the barrier right smack dab in front of us is where he hit. Well, Corcoran gonna be given a chance now to stay up there with Edwards. Edwards had separated himself from Corcoran. Green flag back out, they race down to turn number one. Tyler gonna run it in about a lane higher than Chad Edwards, now gonna pull back in the tracks. As they come down off of turn number two, we got trouble over off of turn two, and that's Brandon Gibbons. We saw that one coming. Yes, we did. Yellow lights are back on, and Brandon looks like he got up onto the back bumper of somebody in the front end. I saw it go up in the air. Slow pace being set by Chad Edwards. Now he'll get into the accelerator off of turn number four. Here's Corcoran, Tyler. Corcoran going to drive it in a little bit deeper down here, but Edwards going to drive away. Now Corcoran will get a run down the back straightaway. He's narrowed the gap to just a couple of feet as they go down to turn number three, taking a peek down low. As they work down here off the corner, it's going to be Edwards reholding re the lead off of turn number four. Edwards out front. Corcoran now has got his hands full with Jessica Power. And Jessica Power is going to take over position number two. Corcoran tried the outside lane on that restart. It didn't quite work. Jessica Power going to second and looking for Edwards for the lead in turn number three. Working down here through turn three and four. Top three cars evenly spaced as they work their way down here off of turn number four. Now Jessica Power going to close the gap here on your leader. As they work their way down the back straightaway, track is going to be deemed clear up on the outside. AJ they... Custody problems there, Dan, into turn number one and two, but white flag will be in the air this time by Chad Edwards, well in command of the field off a of corner number four, holds about a six car length advantage, and Chad Edwards looking to get a win here in heat race number four. Well, looks like the lunchbox can pack this one up. Midway down the back straightaway, down to turn number three. He's got clear sailing up in front of him. He'll come down off of turn number four and see nothing but checkers. Up in front, the Kohler Motorsports. 10% car of Chad Edwards gonna be your winner. Jessica Power gonna come across the line in the runner-up spot. The 52 of Jessica Power finishes second. Third spot will be Tyler Corcoran with the 64. Travis Bruno will trip the clocks here for the fourth position while Ryan Dolbear will round out your top five.